Hey, I'm Sean. If you saw my previous video about eating meat, you know there are a lot of potential downsides to eating animal protein. But you can avoid a lot of these dangers just by not making one simple mistake. These are my top three animal protein sources that you must buy organic. And just to clarify before we get started, when I say organic, I mean either pasture-raised, grass-fed, or wild-caught. If you look at all three protein sources I have in front of me, salmon, beef, and eggs, the commonality between the three is that they are all higher in fat. Now there are two reasons why you wanna have any animal protein source you buy that has more fat be bought organic. The first reason is that like humans, animals store harmful compounds or toxins they're exposed to in their fat. This means that when you consume the meat, you are likely gonna be ingesting some of these toxins as well. The second reason is that the nutrient profile and fat composition of the animal and the protein is the most able to be influenced by how the animal was raised. So it's actually an opportunity to improve the nutrient profile of what you eat if you buy the organic version. So not only is it safer, it's actually healthier and more nutritious. Okay, let's start with beef. Who doesn't like a nice juicy steak? But unfortunately, as I mentioned, beef is a fattier animal protein source, and that means it's one that you definitely wanna buy organic. And when it comes to beef, when I say organic, what I really want you to look for is grass-fed beef. Now, what's the big difference? Well, there's two. The first is that the animal won't have been pumped full of growth hormones and antibiotics. And, but the second, and perhaps more important reason, is that the fat profile of the meat itself changes dramatically when you get the grass-fed version. It contains up to five times more omega-3 fatty acids, which are so great for our hearts. And second, it contains two times more CLA, which is a very powerful, natural fat-burning compound. And who doesn't want that in their steak? Number two on my list is salmon. And when it comes to salmon, what I really want you to go for is the wild caught version. Now the reason why is because if you buy farm raised salmon, you're gonna get a piece of fish that contains far more heavy metals and less overall nutrients. On the other hand, if you buy wild caught salmon, you're gonna get a piece of fish that contains far more omega-3 fatty acids and a bonus antioxidant compound called astaxanthin, which reduces overall body inflammation. Okay, last one, and this is a very important one for me as I consume these pretty much every day, is the egg. This is a protein source that you definitely wanna buy organic, and when I say organic for eggs, what I really want you to look for is pasture-raised. Cage-free is a popular term nowadays, but it's not enough as it's not well-defined as to what that means in terms of the chicken being raised correctly. And the reason why it's so important that the egg be pasture-raised or from a pasture-raised chicken is that these chickens have been able to graze and roam, and they say a happy chicken lays a happy egg, and I believe that. Now, an organic egg has been shown to contain up to two times more omega-3 fatty acids, less cholesterol and saturated fat, and much higher amounts of other vitamins that eggs normally contain. So why did I make this video? I know that a lot of you out there are just like me and you consume animal protein sources every day. But on the other hand, you wanna make sure you're making the right choices for your overall and long-term health. That's why it's so important that you buy these protein sources I've listed for you, as well as other animal protein sources that contain high amounts of fat in the organic version, or in this case, the wild-caught, grass-fed, or pasture-raised versions. Now remember, my overall goal, my number one goal, is to improve the health of our community. So if you found this information useful, please pass it on. And as always, stay tuned to our Facebook and YouTube. We have plenty more to come.